Welcome to Boots Buy. My name's William, and today I'm gonna to talk about how to clean and care for your Thursday boots. So if you have a pair of rugged and resilient leather boots, you can turn them looking like this into looking something like this. But I'm also gonna talk about how to treat Thursday chrome and how to treat Thursday's weather safe suede. Let's get into it. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. As I said, today we are learning how to clean and care for your Thursday boots. I'm gonna discuss, I'm gonna start off step one, I'm gonna talk about how to clean and care for Thursday's rugged and resilient leather. Then I'm gonna talk about the Thursday chrome leather, how you clean and care for that. And then lastly, how you can keep and condition Thursday's weather safe suede. So no matter what Thursday boot you have, this is the ultimate video, the ultimate resource that you need to figure out how to clean your Thursday boots. So let's start off and talk about how to clean rugged and resilient leather. So this is some of Thursday's most popular boots. They have the tobacco, you have Arizona Adobe. Uh, there's a ton of different leather options. Those are probably the two most popular. And those are rugged and resilient. So this is a pair of Thursday President in the tobacco leather and as you can see it starts to lighten up it starts to kind of this color a little bit and get pretty beat up over time but this is how you clean it up and kind of return them looking they're not going to get as good as new you still get some of the discoloration and stuff like that but I've worn these a lot and they're looking a lot better than they did previously so the first step you're going to do is you're going to knock off any loose dirt any any dust anything like that with a microfiber towel or an old t-shirt after you remove the laces and knock off any dirt that you can take a suede brush and you're just going to brush the entire boot down now there's a good chance that is all you need uh, that's all thursday actually recommends they don't recommend any step beyond that maybe just a little bit of water on the rag to kind of help remove some of the dirt and that's a great method and that's how i've treated my thursday boots up till now but if you're anything like me, you wanna know how to go a step further. So this goes beyond Thursday's recommended cleaning system for their, for their uh, rugged and resilient. Uh, this is just how I personally do it. So definitely take, you know, take this with a grain of salt. Thursday recommends just a wet rag, clean up your boots and they'll be fine. The rugged and resilient leather really doesn't need that much care at all. So you don't need to do any of this. This is by no means necessary, it's just what I personally do, uh, if so I, I take these home to the desert and they get super dusty, super dirty, and the color gets all messed up and I wanna restore them back to normal, this is what I do to clean them. So after I've brushed them down with a microfiber towel and a suede brush, I actually go ahead and I fill up a bowl with warm water and I add about two tablespoons of this Saphir suede soap. So I'll put a link down uh, to the description below. So I'll fill this up and then I use my little suede brush right here, <clears throat> my little, you know, Little, little soap guy, and I dip that in the water, and I'll go ahead and I'll wet down the entire boot and scrub it down, making sure there's not too many suds with this suede soap, but you get a little bit, and I'm just gonna wipe down the whole boot, and that's gonna remove, kind of strip everything away. Once you suds down the entire boot with this suede soap, you're gonna wanna let it sit for about 12 to 24 hours. Now, I'm gonna go straight into the next steps, but so just basically don't do as I say, don't do as I do, do as I say, do as I say, don't do as I do. Um, but I wanted to show you the whole process start to finish in a pretty timely manner without waiting 12 hours in the middle. So yeah, wipe it down. Uh, when you get it all suds, wipe it off with a microfiber towel or a old t-shirt to dry it off as much as you can. Then let it sit for 12 to 24 hours. After the boots dried, I'm gonna condition it. And I'm gonna use this Saphir Renovator. This is a suede conditioning spray. I got the neutral color. Uh, if you wanted to, you can get a color. Uh, they have like brown, light brown, dark brown, black, I think also. Uh, you can get the color that matches your boot. I have a lot of different Thursday boots, a lot of different, I have the Arizona Adobe and the tobacco. So I wanted to get something that could do both of those. Uh, so I didn't get dark brown. I just got theirs straight up neutral and that doesn't add any color to it at all. But uh, yeah, so this is for suede. This is a suede conditioner. So again, I'm treating rugged and resilient leather like it's suede, uh, and that's the key to conditioning it and keeping that texture, that look that it has. So I'm gonna hold the renovator spray about eight inches away from the boot, and in short bursts, I'm going to just spray down as much of the boot as I can. At this point, I am pretty much done. I have cleaned and conditioned the boot, but one thing I've noticed that Thursday boots tend to do is that if you see right here in the camera, the front, that is that leather midsole, that tends to get scuffed up uh, a decent amount and kind of looks, the, the color kind of pops out. You get into some of that natural leather color down below. So what I'll do is I will take either some Venetian Leather Balm or Bic 4, any sort of leather conditioner that you have, and I will just put that on a rag 
and I will make sure that I rub that in along the leather, the whole thing, even the stacked leather heel. Just condition all that leather in the midsole and in the stacked leather heel, and that'll bring the color, you can kind of see it in, in this version right here, where it's a little bit more, uh, the color's a little more even. So I just go ahead, condition that whole outer rim there on the sole, and then you are done with the rugged and resilient leather. Next up, if you're interested in how to clean Thursday's chrome leather, uh, here is a really good example of how to do it. Uh, so this is the Thursday Vanguard. As you can see, this is the cleaned and shined version. This is the uncleaned, unshined version. Uh, these boots are still really, really new and they did not need a cleaning at all. So there's not actually a huge difference between these, but even if these were super like beat up and rugged looking, they would end up looking shiny and beautiful like this. Uh, again, this is actually uh, the Thursday Vanguard. This is Horween Chrome Excel, so it is not Thursday Chrome, but everything is exactly the same. Uh, Thursday Chrome is very similar to Chrome Excel in terms of how it's tanned, so everything you do with Horween Chrome Excel is the same for Thursday Chrome. This leather is really easy to care for. Basically, brush off all the dirt, all the uh, dust, everything like that. Remove as much as you can with a microfiber towel or an old t-shirt. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put some Venetian Leather Balm on a microfiber towel and I'm gonna work that evenly around the boot uh, and just go in one section at a time, just covering as much as I can of that and I'm gonna let that sit for about 10 minutes once I've coated the entire boot. After about 10 minutes, uh, you get kind of like a matte texture on the top, everything's worked its way in, uh, that leather has soaked up the Venetian leather bomb and now it's time to take a horsehair brush and just buff the entire boot. You can spend a while, spend five minutes buffing this boot and the more you buff it, the more shiny it'll get. And that right there is how you clean and condition Thursday chrome leather or any of Thursday's uh, full grain leather boots, including their Horween Chrome Excel boots as well. And lastly, we have Thursday's Weather Safe Suede and I'm gonna talk about how to take a, you know, any pair of their Weather Safe Suede and return it back to pretty much original. So this one's pretty fun. Uh, there's some interesting stuff about it, like how do you get one thing that they do a lot, Thursday does a lot, they have kind of the, the toe is burnished and so is the heel. So I'm gonna talk about how to restore that burnishing um, and how you can just clean this suede in general. So the first thing you're gonna do, again, wipe off all the dust, everything you can. And then you're gonna need something like a suede brush. This one is super cheap. I have a link down in the description below. I think it's like under 10 bucks for this and a suede eraser. But very, very simply, very easily, you're just going to take your suede and in one direction, you're just gonna brush. Just like the band, one direction. You just brush in one direction, all the way like that. And that should remove pretty much most of, most of the crud you're seeing on your suede boots. That'll pretty much do it. But if you have a really, really tough stain in there that is not going away, that you can't seem to get rid of, like an oil stain, then you're gonna take a suede eraser, which comes in that same pack with the brush, and you can just rub it in circles like that on whatever the stain is. And just like like a, you know, if you've ever had a pair of crepe sole boots or shoes, uh, and you notice how much dirt they pick up, is basically the same thing. So you rub it in a circle, it'll create kind of like the, the old school eraser on paper thing, and then you just brush it off like that. Pretty easy. To restore the burnishing on a pair of weather safe suede boots, as you can see there's kind of a difference there, um, it's pretty easy. What I would actually just do is just use my thumb and I would just rub the toe like that, and then that gets pretty much, you use your palm too, but that pretty much gets you pretty close to back to the original. Now there's one other thing that you can do, which I don't actually even recommend, and I did this on my Thursday uh, Explorers, and it looks pretty cool in my opinion. I would not do this on my Cavaliers, I wouldn't do this on my Scouts, or any other boots that I have the, uh, the weather safe suede in, but, <clears throat> But for the Explorer, I, I went a little bit above and beyond with the toe burnishing. As you can see on this right boot, the toe cap is a little more, it's got a little more burnishing than the left one. And the reason is I went, hit it with the suede brush, just like I did my other weather safe suede. But then at the end, I added, this is Otter Wax Fabric Wax. So I actually went ahead and waxed the suede on the toe. So if you're interested in doing that, again, I don't really recommend this because you can kind of ruin the look of your boots if you don't do it right but you might be interested in it. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, so what you do, get your otter, otter wax, fabric wax right here, got a lighter. Boom, I just melt the wax right there a little bit. And then I'm going to just rub that onto the toe of the boot right there. So I'm kind of just getting that as much over there as I can. Pretty cool. All right, sweet. 
So I've waxed up the boot, and as you can see, it does not look very good. You got all this like waxy residue on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the lighter again. Let's get this over here. And I'm going to melt that wax. I'm gonna melt that wax. I'm gonna rub it in with my hand right after I kind of get it all melted. And that will even it out a little bit more. And so let's do that. And that's gonna work it into the suede. So I'm really just like crushing it into the suede, making sure that it is evenly, as evenly distributed as possible. All right, so that has added some extra waterproofing to this weather safe suede. I really like weather safe suede because it really doesn't need the wax on, on top at all. But if you want to, only for these, only for the Explorer, just cause this is like a solid winter boot and it's rainy, it's snowy out there. So I wanted to have just, I, the, the burnishing is really cool and I wanted to keep it. Um, but you'll notice right here, there's still a little bit of, still a little bit of residue in there. So I'll just take the suede brush that I was using earlier and I'll just kind of knock it back a little bit. And then I'll take off the raised parts of the wax so that it returns back to normal. So that's pretty much all I needed right there. And then there you go. Now you got like a cool, you got the current cool burnishing back. Uh, it's waxed, so it's gonna add even more weather resistance to the weather safe suede. Overall, um, these methods are really, really easy. Thursday boots are very, very easy to care for. I showed you uh, way above and beyond what you need to do. Uh, you could check out Thursday's site. They have the basic information for what you need to do to care for your rugged and resilient, your chrome, and your weather safe suede boots. But if you wanna go way above and beyond, you can check out some of these methods. Make sure you read my article. It has step-by-step -step guidelines and so you can kind of slow it down and just go one step at a time so that you don't mess up your boots or soak them or, or do something stupid with the wax. Uh, you know, again, the wax thing, don't do it. It's just fun. I just had fun with it. Don't do it unless you're one of the real ones. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. If you want to see more Thursday reviews, they're popping up right here. And until next time, put your best boot forward.